fatet nakinar uchmakinar lukmilde yut pim diki banfeba o daja wi luyem pe drek drek well now that sounds like a bit he wants us to challenge their unbeatable machina Neto de Muka. You got me interested. Oh, I knew it! Oh, that guy's always been a player! <sighs> it's not like that. You see, it occurred to me that learning another language might help me broaden my horizons. Did it work? <sighs> Words weren't enough. But I did come to a realization. In order to expand your horizons, you have to open yourself up. Get involved with the outside world, let it shape and affect you. That's the only way to change. Um, I don't get it. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is that running around with you two has helped me change a lot. What did we do? Well, for one thing, you got me to talk. I... Well, I finally feel I can talk about things. <laughs> oh, that's good. We thought we were bothering you. Oh, you did at first. You never shut up. I was ready to lay down some serious hurt. What? Just at first.
Could be no sweeter melody. It is as if this music delivered the Guado from our unhappy fate. Reviled by all of Spira, most of my people decided to forsake Guado Salam. Those of us who remained until the very end eventually tired of our miserable fortune and fled to Makalania. We went to wither away together with the woods. Well, that is when we met our musical friends. They too were prepared to fade away with their beloved Makalania woods. Yet hearing them perform, I felt a quickening in my blood. I was quite moved. I could not stand by and let such exquisite music be extinguished. After consulting with the other Guado, I decided to bring them home to Guado Salam. Not a single Guado objected. It's been many years since I've seen such solidarity among my people. <sighs> Surely this music was the salve that healed our weary hearts. I am quite aware of Lorenzo's hatred for the Guado. If they were to attack tomorrow, I would neither run nor hide. If they asked to talk, I would talk. Were they to take my life, I would give it willingly. Not the Ronso. They don't want bloodshed. Right, because they're elders on top of things. That is auspicious news. The Guado, too, must choose a new leader. What about you? Preposterous. I will never be remembered for anything but my service under Lord Jiskel and Lord Seymour. Ah, quit your bellyaching! You'd make a fine leader! You guided us to salvation without any concern for your own safety. You shall resolve worthy of a leader. But my strength came from your music. You're wrong. The music only helped you unlock your own inner strength. You, you really think so? Then I will work these old bones as best I can. For my beloved Guado. If you're ever feeling weary, we'll play a song to make you cheery. Oh, Lady Yuna. I'm glad you're here. Please, please, feel free to take anything you need. What is this place? This was to be the final resting place for the memories of the Guado. Before leaving, we carefully stored away those things we had passed down for generations. I'm told that some of us stole back here for a nostalgic glance at lost time. Even the most unassuming of memories can console a wounded spirit. In that case, I shouldn't take anything. On the contrary, my lady's path leads to a bright tomorrow. The Guado would be honored if you used their past to shape Spira's future. <laughs> 